Hiya guys, Spectre here, welcome back to some more Total Warhammer 3 <coughs> Continuing the Tyrion campaign I've got this battle against this Dark Elf army that summary gives me a frick victory And those four units of rank 9 white lions Which I can tell you right now, ain't gonna happen <coughs> I don't know why this army is giving me this hassle on one to one ratio I've got no idea I couldn't stand if there was something here that was, um, you know, really going to give me hassle, but there's not. He's going defensive.
Mage Silver Helms Understood for duty. Seal without fail. Understood. Ah, oh, that's them dealt with. That's one little piggy. Oof one mage. The wind oh, about the fuck's one of here. White line. What's this thing? Get my fucking mage, bitch. Yes. Oh, 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 not into the fucking... And that gave me a Firic victory and I got a Decisive. <clears throat> you need to rework your auto-resolve CE. Big time. They were outnumbered and outclassed. In terms of quality of troops and quantity. And you said they were going to give me a Firic victory and wipe out five of my units of White Lions. In what world does this army beat this? No. These for a start are absolute shit. That one didn't even get any kills. I don't think they even earned the gold value of the three of them, apart from this one.
four black dragons. Hmm. And then, then Lord on a black dragon, that's making five. That's a posh old dun stack. What the fuck? <laughs> Why would she run into that many armies? I will hear your words, but I make no promises. Fucking hell. By the goddamn fucking wood elves again. I'm not bothered about the wood elves. What the fuck? I just got 37% physical. Yeah, you didn't need that then. Give him the gambler's armor. Why has this Lord got so much physical resistance? What the fuck? I've got no idea. He's got a ridiculous amount of physical resistance. Sorry. Not a 
bloody clue. Why is there research in a moment? Passing of a Syrian. Oh, we're researching that. We can do those after. What do you require? Why are you on that? No. On foot. No, none of those. I am ready. Eh. That one's like perfect for a campaign map thingy. Hero action success chance plus 25%, and then enemy hero success chance minus 25%, or enemy characters in the region as well. <coughs> so it can also protect other heroes in the area. And then research rate 10% on top where you've got research to do. It's like perfect for a campaign map one. Blade Lord, shown up. Warden of Sapari. Just give me a water in case this fucker tries to assassinate him. And then it's just the mage, and the mage, I can be really, really loose on the mage. Resistant there, it's not bad. And that's only 10. I know there's a bigger version of that because I think, I think one of these guys have got. Your decree. No, he's got that one. The rune of Is it a better version? Right. No, is it different? Prince. I don't think it does have a different one, I don't know. And Grom's back again. Because the Enchantress and the Bretonians still haven't killed him. Throg's coming back with an army. Protector of Elf One. On a call. Ready to attack. Pop him there. Tyrion, heir of an Aryan. Setting sail. Tyrion's got to come recruit some troops because he's been getting mauled. So all the dangerous fucking armies are chasing him. So we've got a Shadow Mage with Resistant, which is 3 melee defense for the army, 5 spell resistance, and 5% missile resistance. Look at this is more. Where to? Oh, so theirs might be more because they're a Lord. Because they get 5 melee, 15% spell, and 10% missile. Okay.
Either way, yeah. I'll take that. Mage of the White Tower. The winds have eased, causing to reflect. Warden of Sapphire. There we go. <laughs> you have use of my power. I do. A dark bloodlust drives me. Right, I've got three heroes then. Duty. He's got conscientious anti, which is more for recruit ranks on them and the units in the army. Assyrian She's self. got resistant and then he's what got the lord as well. All we need now is a prince with a decent treat. Which at the moment we ain't got. Because I've been using resistant, which is pretty good. And the one that he's got is doctrinal. Which is leadership near the attack and weapon strength for White Lion Swordmasters and Phoenix Guard. I will see to it. Your bidding. Oh, ready for you this time, Throggy. Yeah, I can't recruit this turn because of that, that's fine. Oh, I can give... Oh, in fact, no, should I wait? Give somebody else the armor. Noble son of Opal. We've got Armour of Fortune, we can put that on your Lord. Glittering Scales, Amulet of Fire, Anchors, Talisman. Glittering Scales could be uh, okay on the hero, yeah. Well, actually, do I put it on him, or don't this guy necessarily need it? Guardian of the Phoenix Crown. What have you got? I'll save the armor of fortune for the new lord. He's got a ten up ward. Speak. You don't have one. Oh, he can have it then. I didn't realize he'd not got one. I want the offensive armies to have gear over the defensive ones, ideally, but I want the lords to have stuff over the heroes. At your service. Lord of the Phoenix Court. I lost a level up.
these cup totally not. Yep, meant to. There's zero point going after them. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. We don't need that. We don't need that. We'll go for that one that benefits all the campaign map stuff relations tiles with all factions income from trade tariffs and then one influence per turn so essentially we're getting four relations from this for the hiles Probably can then. I don't get her a finger. Just gonna repair him. We've took me that already out of here. Because it's that genius. Oh, it's 40 though. I thought it was 10. Ugh. If she's still on there by the time I get back to 100 influence, I'll get her as well. Because that's just literally the perfect trait for a campaign map hero. Champion of the Ever Queen. What do you seek? It says I'm as strong as the Dark Elves. I don't know about that yet. We've still got too many armies. The Alarial's making big headways inland with a lot of armies now. Has that person got the Sword of Keen? I wish the batons weren't fucking around with like half stacks and three quarter stacks. Get some full stack goddamn armies in there. You definitely need some Phoenix Guard and each armor because every army is sporting Hyras and Carabidis.
get past these. Probably a good job I didn't continue on for the long campaign victory with the uh, Grom, considering this short campaign victory for the High Elves is going to be as long as a long campaign victory, because of how bloody strong the Dark Elves are. Obviously there's still a faction capable in the hands of the AI capable of steamrolling out. I mean I can, my campaign with Loki fell out was a joke, it was so easy. You've got annoying parts where they try and like circumvent your armies and attack your towns, but that were it. They just weren't beating my armies. Not once I'd got my um, shades to rank 7 and they'd got the range increase. That's when your shades are most vulnerable, before they reach rank 7. You want your shades either at rank 7 or as close to it as you can get when you recruit them. Because once they're there, they'll... Uh, be a lot better with the extra range. Charting a course. I am listening. Destiny awaits. Sailing. Get them to wait in the I water. Because that dickhead can probably assassinate them otherwise. And because they're fairly new heroes, I don't want him just wounding them willy nilly. I live to serve my queen. Protect her. Right, Tyrion. Get another sword master. And get two Phoenix Guard. Prince of Alpha. Slaughter! All set. I will do my duty. Ah, uh, problem is though, Throg's not as stupid. He's not in... Um... Well, the Tooth Crown is such garbage. It really is. It, it operates in the amulet spot. It doesn't even give him physical resistance or a ward save. It should give him at least one or the other. Because 10 million defence is not enough. It's not. You need, need, need to have physical resistance or a ward save on pretty much every purple amulet. I can get away with it not always being on the armour if they've got a purple amulet. If they've got a purple armour and purple amulet, then you can either put it on one or both. Or you could put physical resistance on one and ward save on the other. But every purple amulet and every purple armor piece should have some physical resistance and ward save on it bare minimum Defender the melee defense is good that he's got it on it but he needs to keep that and addition he needs to have something else to it because the item is garbage whenever i play throg i don't even do his ability his, his battle for it it's complete crap it really is i'd rather have talisman of um, preservation it shall be done Right, three turns and Tyrion's army will be back at it. I will do my duty. Ready to attack. I'll stay in that for the time being. Ill considered. Yeah, this knob idea's got soda cane. Waste my time. 
That is actually quite a nasty army. Three Black Guard, three Sisters of Slaughter, three Dread Knights, four Black Dragons. She's on one herself, so that makes five. And then two Caribidis on top. And down. And see, that's an army that would give me more trouble than the previous one. But at least with these, they've also got bonus first large. Not much, but it puts them at like, what, 49 damage each? But it's armor piercing. I'm not going to upgrade that for the time being. I'm going to treat it like I'm doing on my Vampire Camp campaign. No if they decide to attack it, I'm just wasting money. Now, although I've got money to waste in this campaign, I don't want to waste it for no reason. And that rebels in six turns. Is it something that can be reduced? Because I can use that right if need be. Financial instability is going to drop by one each turn. It might be okay, it might just level out. Benefits uh, Sword Masters and White Lions. Doesn't benefit Phoenix Guard, but two out of the three, that's six units. I'm still not sure if you put a cast spawn in my army. Either that or it's some sort of bug in that previous part. I had a cast spawn trying to show up in my army. I was like, what the fuck? Why is there a Zinchin cast spawn here? Depends on how good that army is, I suppose. He beat them both! <laughs> Get fucked. Where are the go Praetorians proving their worth? That's two of their armies down. See, now I can actually build that thingy. I mean, his army might have got on board, but he's still standing. And that's two Amalekith's armies, and Malekith himself gone. Get shit on, dude. I just now I need my allies to, like, push north and just help me out, really. It's not 
Oh, it's not so much help me out, it's just clear out the settlements and the shit armies. Because if I had to take every settlement and every fucking army by myself, it would take quite a while. But luckily, because I've left allies, like I'm not confederated with L'Oreal. L'Oreal's got like five, six armies here on the go. I couldn't have that many armies if I took over her area. And to be fair, I wouldn't want that many armies marching around at the moment. I really wouldn't. I don't need that many armies to win the game. You here. Why do you want me to join war against that guy when he's to the south and I'm fighting in the north? I ain't gonna see Throg move. Oh bloody hell. Is that him back in the water again? See what I mean? This is the problem is that the AI is just bypassing <clears throat> AI armies and settlements are coming straight for me. So if I declared war on that Ark and the Black, no doubt he'd send an army up and hit the southern end of um, Fourth One, which at the moment is safe apart from Gr uh, Grom. Bye, Throg. It's ammo with shit anyway, to be fair. And then he just got immortality. That's fucking awesome. Didn't he get something for killing Trog? A Throg? Weapon strength 3% bonus versus large 15. Nice. Mortality as well, it's good. He's not there quite yet, but he'll get there.
We've just got to wait on those ones. Alright. Still on there. But his heroes are waiting for him. Shield against the darkness. Valiant Lord. I don't think it was even Albrick. Armored in faith. Like just got dicked over big time. Now see this, this is a bad army. This is really bad. Trebuchets, obviously artillery can always be useful. You've got to respect them because of the damage. I mean, only thing they're not massively effective against is single entities. Unless it's like an anti-large one, like a bolt throw or something. But obviously trebuchets aren't. And then maybe sometimes like monstrous units like ogres and shit. Because they do better against like standard infantry and cavalry. His grill knights, his questing knights, are good, but everything else, what the fuck, and these never recruit these, these are fucking terrible units. Just no, hell no. What they need to do with these, in all honesty, to make these good, rather than just buffing up the stats and stuff, because I've got physical resistance, what, who's just one, apparently, the duration's infinite. Leadership is higher than broken, so basically they just got 20% physical, because blessing the lady. They've got frenzy, and then icon devotion. Leadership plus 12 immune psychology for 5 meter range affects all allies in range. I think most of these have got immune psychology anyway. Most of them don't need it. It's completely retarded. What they, what they need to do to make this useful, and usable in armies, is turn it into a mortis engine. That's what they need to do with that. Get, give that the mortis engine effect. Get rid of this crap. Or if you want to keep the name, keep the name. And just give it the mortis engine effect. Obviously not 55 meter range, that's broken as hell. But like the normal 35 meter range. But they need to make it a mortis engine. That's what they should do with that. Because it, it takes a peasant slot as well. It's classed as a peasant unit. I like how it says you currently have zero peasants. I'm not sure if that's been relating that to me or if they've got zero peasants. <laughs> so they've just like fucking maxed out all the peasants. What's does it show what more money he's got coming in? If any fucking hell, actually bringing quite a bit. Fuck. What? What does he put in here? He has his pop open as well, the bastard. Your coming was foretold. Fucking hell, that AI actually builds both the new buildings. I have expected the AI to build like fucking industry and then fucking. You know, just, just fuck it up in some way. But apparently not. Yeah, I can build that now. Now there's two armies have gone. I'll build it up. I serve the king. Does that thing increase growth? No, he doesn't know. Lethal grace given forth. Chosen of Alario. Servant of the faith. Ooh. Marcus Wolfhartian army. Four bleeding mortars and war wagons. I like mortars while well. mortars are good. I wish it would show you how much you're gaining next turn. That'd be like advantageous. Right, well, I'm going to leave this part here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, leave a like. If you're around here, please drop a sub. 
and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care everyone, have a great day.